Stopping by the Woods on a Snowy Evening by Robert Frost. Whose woods these are, I think I know. His house is in the village, though. He will not see me stopping here to watch his woods fill up with snow. My little horse must think it queer to stop without a farmhouse near. Between the woods and frozen lake, the darkest evening of the year. He gives his harness bell a shake to ask if there's some mistake. The only other sounds, the sweep of easy wind and downy flake. The woods are lonely, dark and deep. But I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep. Y andar mucho camino sin dormir. I will speak and Jose will translate in Spanish. You may think it unusual for the reading of the Robert Frost poem before the sermon. Lo que dirás claro la leyenda de esta poesía antes de morir. But it is something that not only means something to Gladys and her family, Pero no es algo que solamente significa algo para Gladys y su familia. But it says something important about her call to priesthood. Pero dice algo muy importante sobre el llamado de ella a su esposo. The line at the end, and miles to go before I sleep. La línea al fin, de millas que quedan antes de ir a dormir. Is the surprise at the end of the poem. Esa sorpresa al final del poema. And Gladys is not this call a surprise, <laughs> particularly at this stage of your life, huh? Y Gladys encuentra este llamado una sorpresa especialmente después de vivir una vida tan llena. It is something new. <laughs> the, the horse shakes his head like this cannot be, as I'm sure some of your friends have said. This cannot be. Esto es algo nuevo, como el caballo que dice esto no es posible. Los amigos de ella mismo diciéndole cómo es esto posible después de una carrera tan larga. But this call is God's idea. Pero este llamado es la idea de Dios. This is what we see in the Isaiah reading. Esto es lo que vemos en la escritura del profeta Isaías. Isaiah just comes in to pray. Isaías solamente entra para orar. He has no idea what God is about to do. Él no tiene ninguna idea de lo que Dios va a hacer. And yet God breaks through into his prayers. Pero Dios entra a la oración en él. And first humbles him. Y lo humilla. The majesty of God, the call, the holy, 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 say in a very clear way, I am God and you are not. La majestad completa de Dios. Lo que dice soy santo, santo, santo. Entra esa oración y le dice, yo soy Dios y no tú. No wonder Isaiah said, I am undone. Por eso me imagino que dijo Isaías, estoy deshecho. And he immediately confessed the cry of his own humanity and the people with whom he lived. Y se confiesa la llamada de su propia vida y la humanidad con quien vive delante de Dios. I am a man of unclean lips, Soy and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. Soy una, un hombre con labios impuro, y vivo con un pueblo con labios impuro. You are the perfect and holy God. Tú eres perfecto y santo. And who am I? Only a sinful human being. But God was not content to leave Isaiah merely saying, I'm only a sinful human being. God breaks through from power to the place where Isaiah is, thinking he is going to die. Dios baja del lugar celestial donde tiene poder y baja al lugar humillado donde Isaías estaba humillado y él creía que iba a morir. And I am sure to Isaiah's surprise, the word comes that brings forgiveness and calling. Y para la sorpresa de Isaías, la palabra que trae perdón y llamado vino hacia él. Forgiveness and calling are inextricably tied together. El perdón y llamado son ideas conjuntas. 
because it is that personal need that I have for forgiveness and the need of the people that I serve for forgiveness that keeps me in that place of knowing humility, that I need God, and if God does not come, I am just undone. La humillez es ese lugar donde el ministro, el que está llamado, ve el, el llamado en su propia vida para perdón y también ve el, el, la necesidad en su pueblo para perdón. Y ese es en ese lugar donde uno dice, estoy deshecho. The absence of humility always indicates a loss of vision of one's own sin and humanity. La ausencia de humildad significa que la persona no ve su propio pecado. At the heart of what it means to be a follower of Jesus is that I need him more desperately than anything or anyone else in my life. Al central del llamado de Jesucristo es entender que lo necesitamos a él más que cualquier otra cosa en nuestra vida. And that desperation never changes. You never grow out of it. It is not a sign of maturity to no longer have it. It's actually a sign of hardness of heart. Esa separación nunca para. En, ver, en, en verdad, no teniendo esa separación significa que tu corazón está mal. So to be a priest especially, to lead well, always requires that stance, that posture of humility. Para ser un sacerdote. Para ser un líder bueno, siempre requisita esa posición de humildad. Which is why even in the letter of Peter, the Peter writes, clothe yourself with humility. Y es por eso que Pedro dice en su carta, vístete en humildad. It is the reminder that of how much I desperately need him. Es el recuerdo de que, que mucho necesitamos a Dios. So we are always called to walk in humility. Siempre estamos llamados a caminar en humildad. Because forgiveness is always a gift that we do not deserve. Porque el perdón es un regalo que no es merecido. But it is always a gift that he freely gives. Pero siempre es un don que el Dios siempre da a la gente. There will be no time when God will look at you and say, No, I am not going to touch your lips today. Nunca va a haber el tiempo que el Señor te va a ver y te va a decir, no, hoy no voy a tocar tus labios. It is his love es that, el de él. that always offers forgiveness and mercy. Que siempre nos ofrece amor y misericordia. We never deserve it. Nunca lo merecemos. And he is always free to give it. Y siempre lo da a la And it is that security y es esa seguridad that opens the door que abre la puerta for the other gift needed for ministry. And that is power. Power that is the gift of God. I know that I need to know that both I am forgiven and that God touches my lips with his power. Both are needed. If I have power but no humility, si tengo poder, pero no tengo humildad, I'm arrogant, soy arrogante, I'm demanding, pido mucho, I want to be the center of attention, quiero ser el centro de la atención. I want everybody to do everything my way, soy egoísta. and if you disagree with me, then what's wrong with you? Si tú no estás de acuerdo conmigo, ¿qué pasa contigo? See, that is arrogance. Eso es egoísmo. That is power without humility. Eso es poder sin humildad. And we live in an age where people admire deeply power. Y nosotros vivimos en una época donde la gente quiere, le gusta el egoísmo. But without humility, it is very dangerous. Pero sin humildad, es bien peligroso. You cannot trust someone no who puedes, does not have humility. No puedes confiar en alguien que no es humilde. But, Pero, if all you have is the humility and there is no power, si no es humildad y no poder, you will not do anything. No vas a poder hacer nada. There will be no action. No va a haber acción. All you will know is that you are not worthy. And so you will say, God, send somebody else. <laughs> you see, both are necessary. Los dos son which is why Isaiah can say, here am I, send me. 
Por eso Isaías puede decir, ven aquí, Señor, mándame a mí. Because he both knew the brokenness of his own humanity. Porque él entendía este, el pecado en su propia vida. And he knew the strength of God's forgiving power. Y él sabía y confiaba en el poder misericordioso de Dios. Gladys. Gladys. This is you. Este es tú. To both know that humility. Conoces la humildad. And to know that power. Because those are the gifts as a priest that you give to other people. You set a pace both by your humility in calling people to forgiveness and power to joyfully call people to follow Jesus. And it is that combination that actually creates a deep place of, of security y es esa combinación que crea seguridad. Because you know you are loved by God. Porque tú sabes que Dios te ama. And you know that God will give you what you need to serve Him. Y tú sabes que Dios te va a dar lo que tú necesitas para servirlo. Even in the midst of impossible situations. Hasta en situaciones imposibles. Because the truth is, all ministry is impossible. Porque la verdad es todo ministerio es imposible. I always desperately need God to do both the small thing and the big thing. Siempre estoy en desesperación que el Señor me ayude en cosas chiquitas y en cosas grandes también. And that is the surprise that other people see. Y eso es la sorpresa que el pueblo ve. That unlike the leaders of this world, que no como los líderes de este mundo, which operate only in power, quienes solamente operan con poder, the people of God rise up. El pueblo de Dios se levanta. They, they openly confess their need for him. And he pours his life through them in displays of great power. So may these things, Gladys, always mark your ministry. As you are invited into this holy place, Mientras eres invitada a este lugar sagrado. For you stand as a fellow elder in the church of God. Cuando te paras como una presbítera en esta iglesia. I welcome you as your bishop into this holy fellowship. Te doy la bienvenida a esta orden sagrada. I am honored and thrilled that God has called you. Estoy honrado y feliz que Dios te llamó a ti. So let us walk together Vamos and with your fellow con priests con and deacons. Con tus con tus hermanos sacerdotes y diáconos. And with the people that you are called to serve. To the humility, a la humildad, the power, al poder, and the great joy of serving Jesus Christ. Y el gozo de servir a nuestro Señor Jesucristo. Amen. Amen. Amen.